Anastasia Palaszczuk joins me live from Rockhampton. Premier, uh, thanks for joining us. Queensland's been lagging other states uh, in the renewable sector until now. It looks like you'll be making a pretty dramatic catch-up here. Obviously, the biggest pumped hydro scheme in the world is a pretty dramatic headline, but it seems to be a much bigger plan than just that. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure, Laura, thank you. And today we unveiled that uh, energy and jobs plan, which will transform our state. It will not only lead the nation, but it will be world leading as well. What we're essentially saying is that we acknowledge climate change is real, it's happening, and we have to embrace this clean industrial revolution as quickly as possible. We're moving our energy renewable target from 50% by 2030 to 70% by 2032. This is groundbreaking. We're also going to own the brand new supergrid that we will be building. The supergrid will act like a magnet for a whole range of other uh, industries that will be set up across regional Queensland, including more solar farms, more wind farms, uh, electrolyzers, hydrogen and batteries. Part of our transformation also includes two brand new pumped hydro. One west of Gympie near, called Barumba. The second, the largest we believe it will be in the world, west of Mackay in the Pioneer Valley. This is world leading and changing. We know that we need a transition, but we also need energy secured security. We also need reliability. And today our plan gives workers a guarantee for the future, something they've been after. And I sat down and signed a workers jobs guarantee, not just with the unions, but our government owned corporations and government pledging $150 million to help with this transition and reskilling. I know it's bold, it's innovative, but also this is what Australia needs. We actually need an energy policy to attract the investment and to give workers security now and into the future. Well, uh, you say the scheme from building the super grid you just mentioned to running the various aspects of renewable generation will create 100,000 jobs. That must change the economics and politics of areas that have, have a tr heavy traditional reliance on coal. Do you anticipate that uh, some of those jobs will come from coal mining, not just from the coal-fired power stations? Well, what we know is that the coal-fired power stations will transition to clean energy hubs. So essentially, you still need the spinning turbines. But next to these spinning turbines will be solar and battery storage, as well as opportunity for hydrogen into gas. So it is a huge transformation. So the people who are working in the coal-fired power plants at the moment still have the opportunity to work in these new clean energy hubs. These coal-fired power stations will gradually be reduced down over a series of phases as our hydro comes online. This gives security to the energy system. It's something that we are very proud of and something to be leading the nation on. Uh, never in my lifetime did I think the acceleration would happen so quickly. But I can tell you, Laura, that families out there want certainty, they want action. They've been taking their own action now for many, many years. They've been recycling, they're buying electric vehicles, they're taking things into their own hands, they're putting solar panels on their rooftops, and now they want action from their government, and they are getting that action from our government. Well, you're partly able to do this because Queensland is one of the few places in the country that hasn't privatised its entire electricity generation and power grid, uh, but that puts a big price tag on your plans too. And there's some irony in the fact that some of it's being funded by coal royalties, but how are you going to fund the rest of it? Yeah, so essentially our plan we announced today is $62 billion. We'd previously announced $2 billion and we put another, another $4 billion down, so $6 billion in total. We want a partnership with the private sector as well, but Queenslanders will own the transmission lines. We're looking at partnering with the Albanese government in terms of building these massive nation-leading infrastructure hydro, pumped hydro dams in our state. And of course we know that there's snowy hydro in New South Wales, but this will be bigger. 
These are big infrastructure projects with big jobs uh, to come with them. The transition is happening, it's real, but this also gives certainty for investors. Investors will flock to Queensland, and they already have started with over $11 billion worth of investment in solar and wind farms across our state. And all so these jobs are in regional Queensland. So you're boasting about the size of those pumped hydro facilities being bigger than the snowy, but um, that's obviously been riddled with issues. Uh, pricing numbers and timetables have blown out. Have you learnt any lessons from that? Of course, we'll work very closely with the federal government, but finally we have a federal government that wants to listen. I've had a preliminary discussion with the Prime Minister. He is open to this plan, to this idea, and uh, what we will see is energy security for the future. Uh, pumped hydro is attractive because it provides more reliable renewable power, but have you done a risk assessment on how stable the Queensland system will be with such a heavy reliance on renewables? Uh, yes, we have. We've done comprehensive modelling, which the Energy Minister will be releasing early next week, and it all stacks up. Not only that, in terms of the borrowings that we will need from our government-owned corporations, we have had detailed Queensland Treasury Corporation analysis that says that it, that it will not affect our credit rating and it will still mean that our net debt is lower than New South Wales or Victoria. So this is good news for Queenslanders and it's something that they have been crying out for for many, many years. And finally, we have a federal government that we can work with to deliver this, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's just life changing. It is absolutely phenomenal. And I'm very proud to be the Premier to be announcing this and leading this massive change in our state. Well, finally, if I could just bring you back to our earlier story tonight. You've had your own controversies in Queensland about your anti corruption body, prompting you to commission Tony uh, Fitzgerald to review it. Does that review offer any lessons for the Commonwealth? Oh, in terms of the Commonwealth setting up a, a new anti-corruption commission, we absolutely uh, support that. Um, you know, everybody needs to be held accountable, and uh, I welcome the uh, introduction of that bill into the federal parliament. Thanks for your time tonight, Premier. Thank you, Laura. That's the program for tonight. Thanks for your company. Good night.